Hello, good and wonderful people. You are welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, all depending on where you are watching from. See, eh, it is very clear now that this country, Nigeria, is nothing but a comedy station in heaven, just like one of my subscribers uh, commented on my comment section. See, these people, they are just joking with Nigerians. They are playing with our lives. They are playing with our intelligence. They are playing with our future. After talking rubbish, after the nonsense that came out from uh, Garba Shehu's ma that it was only 10 students that were kidnapped, he is now coming out to apologize to Nigerians. Please, before I will say that, before I will say the peace of my mind to this man, I will read out the news for you guys. But please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also on the notification button. In that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you. And I pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel, God will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life. In Jesus' name, Amen. This news. Read. Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity Garba Shehu has apologized over wrongfully disclosing that the actual number of adopted students in government secondary school, Kankara Castina State, was only 10, contrary to reports claiming over 300 students were affected. Garba issued his apology via a post shared on his official Facebook page on Friday evening. He wrote, I apologize for the incorrect communication citing that only 10 students were kidnapped at the science secondary school, Kankara. This communication of numbers was provided by persons that should ideally know. These numbers were seen to conflict with what was available at that time. Please understand that this communication was in no way done to downplay the seriousness of the situation. Please accept my sincere apologies as we continue to move our great nation, Nigeria, forward. Thank you. Shehu's previous statement, as reported by BBC Hausa Service in a bulletin on Sunday, read, The government of Nigeria has said its security forces have surrounded the location where gunmen have kept school children adopted from a secondary school in Katsina State. Spokesman for the president, Malangarba Shehu, told the BBC only 10 children we are remaining in the hands of the gunmen, according to their colleagues who escaped from the gunmen. The number is below figures released by school authorities at the beginning. Garba Shehu said the school children who escaped said 10 of their friends were still with their adopters. And this is it for you guys. You see, these people, this whole thing, eh, it shows nothing than to let you guys know that this whole abduction of a thing is nothing but a scam. Some people were informed, why some people were not informed. And because they already have that character of trying to defend the government all the time, they came out to disgrace themselves publicly this one clearly revealed the real state of their confusion because even though nobody knows them the government are supposed to have the real data of what transpired that day because these people were not just picked from the street they were abducted in a school which is to say this school in question here have the record of how many children in that school even the government self up to have the record as well so before coming out to give us figures they should have known who is available and who is not available now back to lie muhammad that carries fake news around please my people i beg waiting be this one not be fake news is this not fake news or is one news more fake than another but if it comes from the mouth of nigerians they will call it fake news but if it comes from them they will call it misinformation you see the kind of people we are living with you see the kind of people we call leaders you see the kind of people in charge of a country how do you expect a country like this to move forward having this kind of element in the seat of power who will tell you black today and tomorrow that same thing they will tell you is 
white. And tomorrow there will still be the ones pointing accusing fingers against Nigerians, saying Nigerians are the ones who are not making this country to move forward with fake news. Whereas they are the one, they are the stumbling block against the progress of this nation. This is the same thing they did during the time of answers. After killing peaceful protesters, they said, initially they said no military personnel were there. Later they said they were there but they did not open fire. Later they said eh, they opened fire but it was not life bullet. Later they told us eh, one person. What, what kind of country is this? Despite all the evidence that was provided by both local and international bodies, this same federal government, they came out to disregard the news. Even the one in Asorok said uh, CNN and the uh, BBC are disgusting. What is more disgusting than what these people are doing with Nigerians? And how long are we going to continue like this? The thing is paining me because so many people has refused used to wake up thank god for this our sorosoke generation that our youth are beginning to speak out it is no longer bef like before when a lot of us are afraid to speak though they are trying everything by all means to intimidate us they are doing their best to shut us down but thank god for those who are still standing thank god for those who have refused to compromise thank god for those who has stood up to say either good or bad we are going to fight this cause because the truth of the matter is that if we don't fight it today our children our children children we still come and continue from where we stop this we are fighting it today is because our parents refused to fight it so the same thing thank god for aisha yesufu who always say that yesterday's victim today's victim were yesterday's survivor and tomorrow victims will be today's survivor so i don't know if you still feel less consigned after maybe maybe you have one or two person in government and you are benefiting please note that the situation of nigeria now is the matter of who will be next you no longer know the rich or the poor both the rich and the poor are suffering it go to the national assembly go to the house of rep all of them are crying not because you ordinary citizen not because the thing is affecting only you ordinary citizen but because them themselves are feeling the heat that's why you see some of them crying out a word they say is enough for the wise and this is it for you all i've said so much in this news i'm just gonna let you all share your own opinion with me on the comment section you may not really agree with me but that's why you are entitled to your own opinion so you can drop your own comment tell me what you think on the comment section and with that i'll say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you for watching to this point of this video your love your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted so let me know what you think and i'll see you all in my next video remain blessed until i come your way next time bye bye bye